Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Uh, do you guys think the Mark IV is going to make it? You know what? I have faith in it. Here it comes. Uh, oh, 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 no. Hello, YouTube. Komodo Gaming here. Bring you guys another episode of BeamNG Drive. And yes, folks, we are back once again. And today, we've got a new mod to play with. This is the Mark IV. It is a World War I tank. And yeah, I'm actually really excited uh, to see another tank come to BeamNG Drive. So, I figured out the tank is not really fast, which is not surprising at all. So I figured the first thing we do is send it down the car jump arena to see if we can get some extra speed for it. But yeah, I've got some tests we're going to run here today. We're probably going to try a police chase. May do a tank versus tank little battle, which is probably just going to be two tanks trying to run each other over. And we're just going to try to test this thing out and have some fun with it. So anyways, if you guys have any suggestions for Beam and G Drive, comment below. And if you're enjoying this game on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. And let's do this. All right, serious question. Is this thing going to lock up on the way down or is it actually going to roll faster? All right, so here we go. Not fast, which is not surprising. I mean, it's actually accurate, but, you know, I just want to see if we can assist it along here. Oh, boy. Uh, over rev, okay. Hold on, let's let off a little bit. Uh-oh, uh valve train. Uh-oh. Oh, wait. Wait, it rolls a lot faster when it blows up. Okay. All right, hold on. Keep it going. Uh, oh, this thing is hard to control in this. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's probably not something you want to see a tank doing. Uh... Well, question is, does the uh, shell actually damage if we were to hit it? Let's go. Oh, oh, okay. Hey, look at that. It does damage. Okay, so maybe the car jump arena is not a good idea. Uh, yeah, you can see it did bend a little bit. So we know it can take damage. Man, maybe we'll have to like shoot it with a cannon or something and see just how much damage it can take. All right, well, car jump arena is probably a not a thing we're gonna try here anymore uh let's take this over to the city real quick and see if we can do something there man i'm surprised this thing can tumble the way it does all right it is time to do a crush test here so what we're gonna be doing i've got two identical vehicles we're gonna run it over with the mark four here and i'm gonna switch this vehicle over to the simple tank once i'm done now the simple tank actually lags a lot now i'm not really sure what's going on with it uh, it kind of makes some weird noises but I still think you could do the crush test here. So, anyways, let's go ahead and we're going to crush this first vehicle. See what kind of damage the Mark IV does. Uh, oh, yeah, it's cruising there. <laughs> it's going to take it a second. Here we go. Oh, oh, that is so satisfying looking. Wow. Yep, that was about what I expected there. That was pretty awesome. All right, so what about the simple tank? Does it do more damage? Okay, here is the simple tank. Now, it doesn't look laggy right now because I'm in slow-mo. Let's go ahead and fire this thing up. So, let me put it in full speed for you guys. Show you that... Actually, it's not too bad once it gets rolling. So, here we go. Oh, look at that. It actually kind of bounced off. Huh. That's actually strange. Hold on, let's back it up real quick. We're going to back over it. I would have to say, I kind of like the... Oh, except for the fact that it flings it in the tracks. I don't know, it more really looks like a belt than tracks on the simple tank. I must say, the destruction on the Mark IV is a little bit more satisfying uh, to me to watch it crush into. Now, let's do another test here. Alright, here we go. Let's go ahead. We're going to line the simple tank up. Now, we kind of proved that the Mark IV does take damage, but what does an actual tank shell do to it? Now, one thing to note, the Mark IV right now doesn't fire. Uh, at least I don't think it does. I, I've tried to figure that out, uh, but this one does. So let's go ahead and test this real quick. Let's go ahead and slow it down. All right, and we're going to go boom. There goes the round. Oh, the round just went in the top of the tank. But did it actually do damage? I think it... Oh, look, it sliced the barrel. Dude, that's kind of cool. All right. Uh, did it come out the back? You know, I'm not really sure what the round did. It kind of flopped off of it. That was weird looking. All right, let's try it again. All right, let's hit it a little further down. Let's go boom. There goes the round. Boom. Man, it's like jello. Look, the round bounced off it. Wow, the side's really strong on this tank. Hold on, let's do it again. All right, let's keep hitting it here. Boom. Man, it doesn't do much damage at all to it. 
Like, I think most of those rounds, you can actually see the rounds laying on the ground. Like, a lot of them don't even make it through. That's actually kind of cool. All right, so obviously the, uh, it's pretty immune to that. What else can that tank take? Don't we have a cannon somewhere? All right, so as a control test, we've got the cannon here. Let's go ahead and test it out on a car just to see what happens. Boom! <laughs> wow. All right, well, you see what it does to... Where did the actual cannonball go, actually? Oh, is that it way back there? So, yeah, you see what it does to a car. I believe that's the cannonball round that just went out of the map. Wow, that thing launches really far. All right, so what does it do to the Mark IV is the question. Uh, do I need to manually reload this, or is it... Oh, I guess we need to spawn in a new one here. Yeah, that car did not have a chance. That was awesome. You know, sometimes I want to try uh, maybe sticking the cannon against traffic and have a bunch of cars fly towards me, and just seeing what sending a round towards them would do. That might be something we have to do in the future. All right, Mark IV, it is time to meet your maker here in like 20 minutes when you get up there. Uh, what was our distance from the car? Actually, I don't know what's going to happen here. The Mark IV's got kind of a weird shape. It might actually, I don't know if it's going to hit the front part or the bottom part, and maybe it'll shoot under, or it's going to shoot above it. Uh, let's see, this looks like it's going to be pretty close here. All right, so we've got another shot lined up. Let's go ahead and see what happens. Uh, let's go into free cam here. Should we do a full speed? You know, we're going to do a full speed to begin with here. All right, three, two, one, fire. <laughs> yes. Okay, this indeed is a very, very, very strong tank. Even though it's a really early model of tank, compared to how strong they are now, this thing can take a beating. Man, I almost feel like this thing would be invincible in a police chase. Even though the police cars are going to be way faster... Are they going to actually be able to stop the Mark IV? All right, we're on to our next test here. We're really putting this thing through its paces. So we got three cop cars here. And I'm going to set them to chase. Of course, the Mark IV can't really do anything. Like, I might make it to the exit ramp by the time they get to me. So, question is, are cars running into this thing at a high rate of speed? Is that going to be able to stop it? I'm going to say no. All right, AI, and you guys are going to go ahead and chase me. All right, here we go. Mark IV versus the cops. I just watched one cop. Is he turning around up there? Uh, he turned around. Maybe he noped once he saw the tank. All right, here we go. First cop car. Oh, okay. Does it? It doesn't even stop the tracks one bit. Look at that. Uh-oh, hold on. We got we to gotta get some grip. That right track's having some issues. There we go. All right, there goes that one. Uh-oh, your cop buddy's about to be eaten by the tank. Yeah, sometimes you have to shimmy it a little bit, but as soon as you shimmy it, uh, this thing's got it handled. All right, here we go. Uh, uh. All right, we have stopped that cop. Oh, let's keep going. Ooh, it just happened. Ooh, it just exploded in the world. Was that a tire? That is a, uh, that's a very unique tire. I don't think I've ever seen that. All right, let's keep moving. Uh-oh, you guys are actually riding up on the tank. That's not a good idea. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, is that cop going to stay there like that? I almost feel like I have to go back and run it over. I don't think Beam G's tires are ready for this tank. Because look at what the tires are all doing. They're stretching across the world. This is amazing. All right. You know what? Let's go. Uh, 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 and we're going to back over this. We need to do a weight test. Obviously, this thing's heavy. But what happens if we drop this thing off a building and let it land on something? Like, how big of an impact would it be? Uh, we might have to do that here in a second. Let me, uh, let me kind of get all these cops together here. Yeah, there's no stopping this thing. Like, its tracks are perfectly fine. I remember uh, with the simple tank, that was one issue it had. Uh, once its tracks, which they kind of look like uh, rubber conveyor belts, once they got destroyed, they were really, really really hard to drive like this thing we just took out three cop cars and it has affected it zero yep that's right baby mark four is just gonna drive off like nothing happened all right mark four you are proving that you are truly one of the strongest vehicles here in beam and g question is could you handle a semi truck all right so this might be the ultimate test this thing's loaded down with diesel uh this is gonna be a big collision 
So, will the Mark IV be able to withstand this collision and be able to plow its way through the diesel? Let's see what happens here. There she is. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, do you guys think the Mark IV is gonna make it? You know what? I have faith in it. Here it comes. Uh, oh! oh no! What? D wait. Look how the trailer perfectly landed there. We just killed the diesel completely. Haunts, back it up. Back it up. I think we just somehow kicked on the backup indicator on the diesel. What in the heck? This thing is like, you can't move it. Like that was a diesel going really fast. Uh, what could move this thing? Maybe a ram plow? Oh, let's see if we can run over the trailer here. That is incredible. All right, trailer. On. I'm gonna try to explode you here. Give me a second. Uh oh, I might be stuck. Okay, did we find its nemesis? Actually, you know what? Look at that. It's stuck in the back tire on the semi. That might morally be kind of glitched out. Hold on, let's see if we can get off that tire. Diesel, you gotta let go. Oh, you can see the cab, like the cockpit there. That thing is shredded. Okay, come on, let's go forward. There we go. All right, get away from it. Okay, let's see if we can, uh, hmm. How would we do this? We probably need to do it from the side like this. Let's see if we can get this trailer to crush. Come on, Mark IV, you can do it. I know you're putting a dent in it. Hold on, let's back up and hit it more towards the center. All right, here we go. Come on, roll it over. There it goes. All right, time to eat it. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Whoa, that thing is strong. What the, what? <laughs> Wait. I know that thing would have collapsed under the weight of the tank. No way. That wasn't even the actual body of the tank itself or the tanker trailer. For some reason where the pumps are, or I guess the, uh, I guess where they get the actual fuel out, that's what tipped it over. It didn't even get to this part. Haunt, I don't feel like the Mark IV got a fair shake there. That didn't feel right, huh? Let's reset that. All right, let's try backing over it now. All right, we're gonna back over it this time. Okay, let's just let its weight set on it right now. It should crush it in theory. I know these tankers are strong, but I don't think they're this strong, are they? Uh, all right, keep going. Uh, it's starting to smush it a little bit. Come on, come on. No, it tips itself over. Wait, wait, can the mark? Wait, can it still drive? No, it, it can't drive anymore. All right, so it's Nemesis, apparently, is tanker trailers. All right, one last impactor I want to try out, and then we'll go throw this thing off a building. All right, it's ram plow time. I'm going to keep the trailer on it. All right, so we should be good to go. Let's go ahead and turn this bad boy around real quick. All right, let's go ahead and do this. We're going to try to get some speed here, too, with our vehicle. All right, chase me. All right, let's do this ram plow. What is going to happen? You know, I don't know how strong the actual plow is. I've seen it crushed before, but is the force going to flip the tank over? That is the true question. Uh, Got to wait for that thing to appear. There it is. There's the ram plow. Here we go. Oh, boy. All right. This looks so intense. Uh, what's going to happen here? Oh, it's going pretty fast. Uh... <laughs> Not even the mighty Ram Plow can take down the Mark IV. Oh, we just ate its cab. Wait, is it? How is it? Um, is that a thing? It's still driving. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure your driver's stuck in my tank tracks right now. That was incredible. I love the way that looks, how it just smushes the cab. Oh, that is brutal. All right, cab's gone. Okay, so we've already proved this thing's pretty well unstoppable. I'm sure there are certain scenarios where this thing can be stopped, but yeah, this thing does great. Uh, let's go drop it off a building. All right, so we're gonna line up a car down here. I don't know how much momentum this tank's truly gonna carry over the edge of this building, but we're gonna crush a car. Oh boy, this is gonna be awkward actually. You know, I should probably do this in free cam. Let's go free cam. All right, so there is our target. Uh, question is, why is it edging forward? All right, you know what? Let's let it do its thing. Here we go. Oh, buddy. Okay, slow it down. Uh-oh. Okay, this is going to give us an idea as to where the tank's going to land. Oh, could you imagine? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it's coming outward. Wait a minute. This might actually work. No, this isn't going to work on the first try, is it? Nope, it's not. 
How the heck did it just bounce off the other building? What? Beam and G, what is going on? This thing's heavy. What? <laughs> what? Okay, this thing really does bounce. Uh, we bounced off two buildings there. Huh. This might be a little harder than I thought it would be. Alright, here we go. Once again, let's go ahead and just release. Okay, let's try to stay closer to the building. Oh, this is so bad. Uh-oh. Okay, here we go. Okay, it's gonna do its little tumble here. Oh, this is looking better. This is looking better. Oh, we did it! We did it. I couldn't do the free cam because I was a little afraid where it was gonna end up. Oh, no. When that thing lands on something, it completely separated the whole front end. Like, look at the wheel. Uh, oh, wow, that thing is flattened. It didn't even take the full brunt of the impact. Hold on, let's, uh, can we repeat that one last time is the question. If I reset this, and I reset this bad boy. Alright, one more attempt here. Alright, can we do it again is the question. Alright, there's our targets right down there. Okay, slowly, slowly drive. Alright, here we go. That's looking good. Okay, we're gonna slow down here and see if we can see if we can free cam this. All right, let's go down here. Question is, oh, oh, it's close, but I think it's gonna overshoot it this time. All right, let's go ahead and do a camera right here. Let's go full speed. Oh, oh! <laughs> what the heck? Why does this thing bounce like a basketball? Okay, you know I don't know if the drop physics. Oh, oh, it just hit it. Okay. What actually crushes it about the same way, no matter kind of the height? I'm pretty sure if you did it perfect, which I think we're just going to drop it on it now. I was hoping to, you know, be able to drop it off a building because it looks cooler, but uh, we're going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. We're just going to free cam above it and drop it and see what happens. Uh, not going to quite have the speed. Let's see, how's this thing spawn in? Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, oh what it does, it, man. It just combines the two. Oh. <laughs> oh that, that is brutal. I like that, huh? Put that back up there. Put this back here. Oh, <laughs> did it again. Oh, that's great. Yep, I would definitely say the Mark IV is uh, really strong. I would highly suggest downloading this thing. It's pretty crazy. But anyways, I think it's going to wrap it up for this episode of Beam and G. I just wanted to check out that mod. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions for future Beam and G episodes, let me know down in the comment section below. Uh, do you want to see more police escape, highway crashes, uh, just whatever. Uh, I figure we just kind of do more of a mod review today, uh, but we'll be probably jumping back into this on the weekend. But yeah, thank you guys for all the love and support on Beam and G Drive, and we will see you guys next time.